So in this video, we're going to learn how to make this astrology zodiac sign thing that kind of spins around, lands on your moon sign, and gives you a little um, tidbit of information. So we're going to use a few uh, plugins in this video. Nothing is super critical for this, just a few things that are going to make it a little bit easier. So I will link to anything in the description that we are using, but you do not really, um, nothing's mandatory for download if you don't want to, but I recommend it. So let's get into it. All right, so I got a 1920 by 1080 composition with a little st ambient star field going on here and some guides at a center point. Guides are going to be important. This is going to be a very mathematical, geometric thing, so we want to have a center point defined. So I'm going to click on this polygon tool up here so I can make a polygon and I'm gonna alt click in the center here to make it centered, drag it out. Now you can scroll your mouse wheel here and change the amount of sides on this polygon. Um, and I'm just gonna let go, but, or you can just drag down, drop down this uh, menu here to the poly star path and we can type in an amount of sides. We wanna do 12 because there are 12 months in a year. See, you're learning something already. All right, and now for this rotation, I think we wanna do 15 degrees so that it's straight on the top and bottom and sides, mathematical. All right, and then for the radius, this can be really whatever you want. I just wanna make this kind of big, almost to the edges here. And we, now we, what we want to do is we want to duplicate this one time, control D, open this one up and make this one a little bit smaller. So we just kind of have this nice ring. All right. And we can go ahead and rename this one to be like inner ring. And then we can rename the uh, other star to be outer ring. All right. Now what I'm going to do is just give this outer ring like a little bit of animation. So if we make a keyframe on the outer radius, and then go back to the beginning and then drop it down to zero. Give it a little bit of ease here. Boom. Now it's gonna scale out like this. All right, cool. And then what I also wanna do is make these dividing lines, right? So that each icon of this sign is gonna have uh, a little container to sit in, all right? So what that's gonna look like is if we grab this pen tool and we're not selecting anything, and we start at the center, click at the center, and then go straight up holding shift. We draw a line like this, boom. Let's just name this to be line. We'll rename the other one to be like rings. All right. Now with this line layer selected, drop down the arrows and we wanna add a repeater because we wanna repeat this line. Right off the bat, it's gonna give us three copies. We want 12, right. And you can see it's shooting them all the way to the right. That's not what we want. So let's open up this repeater options here. We want to um, change this position to be zero and zero. We want them to be stacked on top of each other. Now what we want is drop down this transform here. We want this initial line to be rotated like this, right? It wants to be on this little crevasse here, right? So this is about, 15 degrees, okay? And then now what we wanna do is rotate all of the copies, okay? So we'll go under the tra the repeater here and we'll rotate these repeated ones. So these are gonna be about here, that's 30 degrees, like that. Now we have all of these uh, repeated lines set up. And if I look in here, you can see these aren't quite touching the edge like this. So let me just click on this path here, get this path selected. And let me just make sure I'm grabbing this and I'll pull this up a little bit there. Now we have that all selected like that, boom. And what we could do is we could just add a little animation to this right now, add like a trim paths or something, right? Trim paths, and maybe this wants to start and end, just draw out like this. So I'll start it at zero and go out, matching this one, goes to 100, same ease, be something like this. That's pretty cool. And then later what we could do is just kind of trim it the other way, right? Something like this, um, but we'll, we could get there later. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add null objects to all of these little points so that 
we can have we can attach icons to this. So I'm gonna do that by opening up our rings here, like this. Drop down the inner ring, drop down the polystar path, and we're gonna right click on this polystar path, the inner one, and convert to Bezier path. Boom, like this. Now this is a path where we can actually move around these individual points like this, okay? So it's gonna give us a lot of options to do real cool things. So if we open up our window here, you should have create nulls from paths as a default script. If you don't have it, you can download it for free. Uh, we'll put a link in the description, but After Effects comes with this now. So the one that we want is points follow nulls. So make sure you're selecting the path here and then click points follow nulls. Now this will generate null objects that make the points follow it, all right? Nothing crazy here. So now let's hop back and I'm gonna drag in all of my icons that I have. And if you want to also use these icons, they are free download from Flat Icon. Also link will be in the description. Okay, I'm gonna put a lot of links in the description. So what I want now is I want to attach each one of these icons to a null object. So I'm gonna shift and parent a icon to a null. And by doing that, it will snap it to the center of that null object. So shift and pick whip, or you can just shift and then click on the parent with, with this menu. Same thing, two different ways to do it, same thing. So let's just go ahead and do that now. Now all these icons are obviously too big, so I'll grab all of them, click S, scale them down a bit till they look like they're a good size. That looks like it's about right. And this color is not working for me. So let me go ahead and add a fill to one of these and give it a nice orange. And then I will copy this fill, paste it on all of them. Now they all have a nice orange. So I want these to all be sitting in one of these containers, right? So even though it's attached to this null object, it should be in this container. So we can just go ahead and just move them a, a little bit. So it's kind of like this. Now this null will still be moving it. So it's not perfectly right, but it's close enough, I mean, come on. So let's just go ahead and just move them all in here like this. And I think these all wanna be just a tiny bit smaller. And I don't know if this is the right order for these signs. Um, that's kind of, I'm a Pisces, and that's just kind of like the Pisces way to do it. You just kind of wing things. You don't do a lot of planning. It's one of our, um, it's one of our downfalls, but it's also one of our big advantages. We're very go with the flow, so. It's just one thing you're gonna to have to accept about my Pisces energy, all right? But this is the order we're gonna go with here. So now what will be cool is if this kind of grows out from the center, so I'll grab all of these null objects and I'll just put a position keyframe where they are and then we'll go back a little bit and using the align panel, I'll just center it out like this. But you can see it's a little bit off center here, so I'll just snap it to the center and give this a little bit of easing on the second keyframe, and then it'll look something like this. Boom, that's cool. And I wanna scale all these as well, all the icons, because I don't like seeing them at first, so we'll just wanna kinda scale them in line with what's happening. So zero them out at first, ease them up, so it's kinda something like this. That's kinda cool, that's kinda happening right there. All right. And then maybe we we'll give these a little bit of a stagger. So using this shift layers, we can stagger these a couple of frames, maybe one frame and delay it a second. So it's kind of like that. That's pretty cool. All right. Now, if we take all of these null objects and we attach them to a big null object like this, a global null object, that's what I'll call this, global, control. Now we can do some cool stuff with this on just one control. This one null object is going to control everything, but oops, it's not controlling everything. We also need to attach the lines to this, and we also need to attach the rings to this. Okay, so now, there we go. Now it's controlling everything. So maybe at like two seconds, this um, rotates in, so we'll have it kind of start a little negative, like negative 90 degrees. It rotates up, 
kind of like that. That's kind of fun. And then maybe it then rotates to have be Pisces on top, right? Because I'm Pisces, I think we belong on top. Sorry if you don't. All right, so we'll do something like this, right? That could be kind of cool. Boom, like this, and then it picks another sign to put on top. That's really too not eased enough for my liking. Let's get in the graph editor here. And we kind of cool if it like over shoots a little bit. So I'll, in the, in the value graph, I'll just kind of pull this a little bit above the, the zero degrees and that way it'll overshoot a little bit like that. And then it'll spin around. Beautiful. We could even make this a little bit gentler. If you need help with easing stuff, watch my video on the snowboard technique and you'll know all about this nice smooth ramp for our snowboarder like that. And then maybe when this is at its peak spin about right here, it wants to shoot over into position. So we'll click P and slide it over using a position keyframe to about there and ease the second one. We only need to ease the second one because this is going to start moving at a peak velocity. So it's kind of like a jump cut. It's gonna help hide it a bit, something like that, right? It's kind of cool. All right, so now what we can do is we can add this cool like web effect that's gonna be in the middle. So because we have all of these paths here, the, uh, sorry, because we have all these null objects, we can use this cool effect that's in motion three called vector. So we have all of these layers selected. We can choose this one at the end that's going to make beams in between all of them. So I'm gonna click vector and this will generate lines between every single null object. Might take a minute because we have a lot of layers to do. So let this run. So now the cool thing about this is that this is gonna generate all of these lines between everything that are actually going to adapt. So if you were to move any of this stuff, it will still update to create these lines. And if you don't have motion and you don't wanna um, buy it using my link and discount code in the description, all this is really is um, solids with the beam effect. So if you add beam, and then you can, it creates these beams, but it's using expressions and all this smart math stuff to um, parent it to stuff, which I don't know how to do, but you could find a tutorial, I bet. So we'll do that. And then we could actually animate this using some of these controls. So we could do a write on effect, like it starts at zero length, at zero length, and then writes up to 100 and gets eased here. Cool. This will be a very cool effect. And then I also have a text layer here that we could animate on once this starts to slide over. Right about here, this text layer could start animating on using one of my text animator presets, another video you can watch with a free download. So we'll add the sexy line slide in, Nick's line slide in effect preset, text preset, and like this. Now these lines, they can be a little bit slow to load, so we can let this buffer. And then you will get something pretty much like this. Pretty cool. And then now one more thing that I'm gonna do is, I don't like how these icons rotate with the whole thing rotating. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, grab this global control that's rotating. If you click R here, and then we grab one of these icons and we click R, we're gonna pick whip this to this. So now this is going to mirror that rotation. But then what we're gonna do is we're going to drop down this little expression and we're gonna put a negative sign in front of it. So now what that's gonna do is that's, gonna, that's going to just cancel that out. It's going to say, do the opposite of that. And that will keep this icon always upright like this. And we'll copy this expression and paste it on everything. Boom, like this. And then maybe we could say, grab this Pisces, duplicate it and have it appear like in the center right here like this and it scales up really big like this. 
and you could add a glow to it and everything. So our final animation is going to look like this. Very cool. So that is about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. Let me know in the comments what your sign is. Are we compatible? Okay, would we get along or do we clash? Are you like a Leo or a Sagittarius or something like that? I would love to know. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.